Hi guys, I'm Tim from Your Six Studio. So on this video today, I'm going to show you how to add a live sub counter to your Streamlabs OBS. This can be done very easily. Let's jump into the video right now. The first thing you will need is one of these websites, StreamCounter or Livestreams.net. I personally like Stream Counter a little bit more just because it gives me more options. So type in your YouTube, your Twitch account, Mixer, or Smashcast, I don't know what that is, and type it into here and go to the search here. It's going to ask you to log in, do that, do that, and there we go. Now the numbers on the bottom here, you will see that uh, they're not actual representations of your actual followers slash views. Uh, it has a little side note here that says counters below are just previews and do not represent the correct number so just be aware of that now this one does give you a little bit more options you'll see on the bottom here you can actually scroll down a little bit to uh, edit the fonts the size the colors the outlines which is nice you can actually edit the text in there too if you wanted to say something other than viewers or followers you can put like Tim's awesome squad or something like that something to that effect also you have this option to uh, choose what you want in there all right, if you don't want to have viewers in there, you can go ahead and uncheck those categories. And also for followers, if you don't want to display the counter, you can go ahead and uncheck that. And you can just leave the counter text in there, what we're seeing right now. So you do have the option to edit a little bit more. You can increase the outline, which I kind of like. Also the font. With the other livecount.net, you don't have the option to do that. So I like this one a little bit more for that reason. So I like to increase the outline a little bit more, maybe change the text. But that seems to be good where it is right there, uh, that default text. So you can go through here and look at uh, the other options like like and dislikes. But uh, right now I just want to sh display my follower count. So I have this checked. If you uncheck it, it will just disappear. So we have that what do we do now uh, if you go all the way down here it says generated URL we're going to want to copy that so we have that copied okay when we're on OBS this is what we're going to need to do we're going to need to start a new source by going to the plus icon under sources and go to browser source go ahead and double click on that I'll bring up this page type what you want in for the name I'll put live sub count live sub is fine for me let's go ahead and add new source then we have the URL section we're going to want to put our uh, generated URL into here go ahead and paste it here and then I recommend going to height and putting that to a thousand I'll show you why in a second once that's in go ahead and press done now the reason I said to put it to a thousand or more is you get this annoying ad for some reason now on this uh, web page. So what I do is just put the height a little bit larger and then it goes away. It's off the screen and you can put your followers bar where you want it. Go ahead and put it here. Now the nice thing about this site is it already cuts out all the stuff in the background so you don't have to go to an extra filter and add like a chroma key. So this one is a little bit more convenient just because it cuts out the background. You don't have to go to an extra step like adding a chroma key or anything else like that. And I like this one personally just because there's more options for your uh, your followers, your active viewers when you're streaming. And you can adjust the fonts, the outline, the color to it. And uh, that just, it's just more convenient and I like it for that so reason. So as you guys saw, adding a live sub counter to your Streamlabs OBS can be done in minutes. If you like this video, go ahead and leave me a thumbs up and possibly subscribe to my channel for more how-to videos coming up in the future. Thank you again. This is Tim, signing out.